So now that you've actually written your programs, it's time to run them, okay? So um, the first thing we need to do is to build the course layout that you've seen on the challenge handout. So we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna lay out the course using these foam mats and just to give you an idea of how it should look and then you and your teammates and everybody in the class are going to actually take these foam mats and as a group, build the course layout before you actually run through the program. So let's go on over and take a look at the course layout. So here's our course layout. This is how it should look once you have all of the foam tiles laid down. Okay. Uh, and I've gone through and I've counted to make sure that it's exactly how it's supposed to look based off of the picture in our handout. Okay, so here's the starting point. This red foam towel here is where um, the human should start. So if you have the human that you're programming should start in this red foam towel here. Okay, so have them stand in this towel. And then as you say your program, they should move through and eventually finish in the yellow towel, where the yellow towel is here, okay? That's the finishing towel, okay? Based on the course layout, okay? So they have to decide whether or not you're gonna go straight or if you're gonna go to the right and around, okay? And the thought that you have to put into this is which way is faster, which way is gonna produce the shortest program, right, with the fewest lines of code, okay? So you're starting the red tile here, go forward, go forward, right? Because you're going up to two tiles there, and that's where you need to make a decision on which direction you and your teammates wanna go so that in the end, you have the uh, program with the shortest or the fewest lines of code, okay? So when you get together, this is how it should look. I work as a team to make sure you lay it out properly. And then before you start running your programs, double check that you have the proper number of tiles, foam tiles laid out and that they're laid out at the proper position, okay? So that's how your course should look. So work together as a group to lay out the course as you see it in the handout. Make sure you have the proper number of foam tiles and make sure that it's positioned correctly because that's gonna be important when you run your programs. And so once that's done, go ahead, each team, take turns running through your program exactly as you've written them. And what's gonna happen is some of you may have made mistakes. And if you've made a mistake, you and your teammates step to the side, uh, let the other group come up and let them run their program. So the goal is to get through the program, that's number one. And if all the teams or two teams get through the program, then the goal is to see which team has the shortest program, meaning the shortest lines of code. And so the team that has all of those things is the winner, okay? So the way that you go through the course is you have one team member start in the first tile and then another team member read the program and then that team member just steps through as the team, as the other team member reads the program steps out, okay? And what you'll see is that if you can get through it, make sure everybody's paying attention, make sure that uh, the commands are correct and make sure that the person actually running through the program, the human, is doing it correctly. Okay, so here's Zora. She's standing on the course how we have it laid out uh, from our challenge handout, okay? So what she's gonna do, if you look on the left here, here's our example program, all right? So all she's gonna do, one of your, so Zor will be one of your teammates. One of your teammates is gonna stand here uh, on the course in the starting block, right? And then you're gonna call out the steps on the left, okay? And this is just an example program, but it's just so you can kind of see how it works, all right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna call out the uh, commands, the, the program steps, all right? And Zora's gonna go through those, all right? So let's try this here. So go forward, go forward, turn right, go forward, go forward. Okay, now obviously uh, she didn't get through the program to our final block there, right? But it's just an example to show you how to do it, okay? And so if we were to finish this, you know, there would be a couple more blocks. So let's say we wanted to go uh, to that corner piece. So we would have to add two more commands. So go forward, go forward. And that will bring us there, okay? So we have a total then of seven. That would have a total of seven lines of code, okay? 
Of course, that's not enough to get us to where we want to go, but this is just an example. So your program is going to have to be written to get to that finish block, which is in this case, uh, the pink square here. Okay. The second one right here. Okay. So again, your code will be different, but this is give you an example of what to do and how to do it when you're actually running your program. So hopefully that helps you out. Say bye, Zor. And so then after everybody is gone, you should have a winner, okay? And so once you get to that point, coaches, go ahead and play the next video.